Okay, guys, please like, share, and subscribe, and hit the notification bell so that you get alerts to our new videos. Uh, today, I thought I'd um, get the old retro pie out and um, see if I could find some uh, classic arcade games. So I've gone into the mammy part of it, and uh, we're about to play Bubble Bobble. Um, love this game. I, I very first played this on the Commodore 64. Which um, I would have gone with as an option for the video, but um, unfortunately, it doesn't seem to emulate too well. Um, could be because because you would have used a joystick with that, and obviously, uh, my retro at the moment is hooked up to a PlayStation Three controller, so um, it's something I do need to look at actually. Maybe getting a joystick for this. Because there's a few games I want to play on here which don't seem to work very good with a controller. Um, one of them being Zool. Um For some reason, that doesn't seem to be very good at all. So, yeah. I um, don't know if anyone remembers Zool. That was out in the Amiga as well. It was brought out by Chupa Chups, if I remember right. Anyway, enough talking about other games and rambling. Let's get on with the game. Now, I've got to figure out what button's what here. Because obviously it's going to be different. I used to love this game. Right, so jump is square. We know that. Right, okay. It's very different because I used to play this on a joystick. So back then you didn't have to do that. You pushed up and you jumped. But one thing I can say is this looks much better than the old Commodore 64 version I used to play. A lot more colourful. Another game I tried to play recently, which was obviously related to this, uh, was Rainbow Island. And that one, that's difficult to play with a controller. Definitely a lot easier with a joystick. I used to play that on the Amiga and it was, you know, I wouldn't say it's easy, but it was, you was able to do well in it. But on this version with a controller, it's impossible. I used to like the music to this as well. Classic arcade sort of sound ah Tried to pop the bubble in and I got hit. Ah, oh, no, fell on him. Didn't quite make the ledge properly there. Ah, got to hurry now. He's being a sod, won't let me get him. Ah, oh, damn. Don't worry, I've got continues. 
I think with this game is you can, because it's ripped from an arcade, you can put in as many uh, coins as you like. You just hit the select button. So, as you can see there, I've got credit 29. So, we'll just keep going. Of course, this does probably mean I'm right back to the beginning there. Eh? Yeah, which is what I thought. Like the old arcade games were. So any youngsters watching this, obviously to you this probably looks quite basic, but it was massively playable. And although it looks quite simple, it was actually quite difficult as well. Like with my kids, I find that a lot of them, the, the, a lot of the old games, they find difficult because they are harder. You had to start at the beginning if you died and things like that. You don't get any of that now. Now you can just keep doing the level over until you've finished it. Ah, oh, how did that not get him then? I should have got him. Yes, I know. See, the way I'm saying is they get mad and then they get faster. Come on, drop down here. Yeah, not going to, are they? Oh, now you move. What the hell is that? Oh, that's right. Doesn't some funny ghost thing start chasing you around? <laughs> Got most of them in one go there. Let's drop on a lot of them. There we go. Ah! Oh, no fair. There we go, got that last one. Ah, oh, damn. Now what happened there? Oh man, I've got loads of them there. Oh, pulled it off some out. Mm, got ghosts on this one. Oh yes, that's right. You can hit them things. I forgot about that. Oh, I've got to get that last guy. Keep zipping me past him. Ah, oh, he's got out now. Got ya. So obviously as you can see in the corner, you could play this two player as well. 
Which I would have liked to have done with Connor, but at the moment he's he's just gone back to school, so and he's trying to unlock some of the Marvel stuff on Fortnite, so he's playing that a lot at the moment. So he wants to do a video on it. So, so at the moment it's just me on these classics. But don't worry, he will be coming back. Less and less time to catch things, I've noticed now. Ah, oh, damn, I didn't see him dropping. So, as you can see, the levels get harder as you go along. Mm, round 10, was it? Okay. Right, let's have another go. I can say, it's not a massively complicated game, but very enjoyable. And uh, Rainbow Island, was, like I said before, was related to this one. And that was another one that was really good. I also remember our uh, New Zealand story as well. I can't remember if that was related to these or not. But that, or, or was Rainbow Island New Zealand story? I can't remember now. Might be getting mixed up there. But that was a good game as well. I remember playing that back in the day on the Amiga. It's basically a friend of mine had an Amiga. And I had the Commodore 64. His parents had a bit more money. I had to buy my own computers. So. And then uh, I got into Mega Drive after that. But I, I mainly played all the Amiga games on my friends. And then a little while later, I got an Amiga off my uncle because uh, he had the 500 and he bought the 1200, so he gave us the 5. I think it might have been the, the plus version. And then he gave us his uh, 1200, so we had that for a while as well. But in between now, I'd had Mega Drives and various other things Super Nintendo. It's more of a Mega Drive guy, if I'm honest, though. Oh, he's trying to sneak up on me now. It's always really surprised with how successful Mega Drive was, and then they done the Saturn and they just made a colossal mistake with it. Just didn't understand how they got it so wrong with that. Oh, why have you shot me down there now? Don't get me wrong, there were some good games on the Saturn, but it was nowhere near as successful as the Mega Drive. Ah, oh, I didn't get the whole lot. I was hoping I was going to knock the whole lot then. Right, this, I think this, was this where I got to before or have I got further now? No, I've got further. I don't think I made it this far before. Oh, 
before you, so you would get out there now, wouldn't you? Me. See, I did bring a newer version out. Um, I think it might have been the Saturn, you know. Or was it the Dreamcast? I think it was the Saturn. Um, and I'm told that the same version is out on the PS2, and I'm actually looking at that at the moment. Because uh, it came out on Taito Legends. So I'm actually looking at one of them at the moment. Because with the other version, the newer one, they put like coloured background, like pictures in the background and stuff. It wasn't all black like this one is. So it was a bit more interesting to look at. Um, I'm trying to think who it was. Somebody did a video on it recently. I think it might have been Eddie from Roller X Corp. Obviously, it was the Sega or Saturn version. But he let on in that that it was out on the PlayStation, so I thought, oh, like PS2, so I thought, oh, I'll have a look at that. Right, let's have one more go then. One thing I will say with this game, it's a lot harder when you play out on your own. It's definitely one of them games where you're better off with a teammate. Dazes them, does it? Didn't feel I was going to get him then. Ah. I was going to get him as well then. Oh, missed one. That's annoying. Oh, he's trying to get me. Ah, couldn't turn quick enough. He's too fast. Gotcha. Ah, oh, come on. How did I miss him? It's 
See, look. Came so desperately, wants to put a second player in. Ah, oh, come on. That's not right. Ah, oh, oh, I got him. Good. Didn't mean I was going to get him then. Oh, they're going to come all round me, aren't they? Yeah, knew it. All right, that's it. That's me out again. All right, so we're going to end this one here anyway, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like I say, if you're a, if you're a youngster, you probably never even heard of this game, but it was a really playable game back in the day, and this was the sort of thing we had back then. So, and it's it's one thing guys always like going back to. Um, like I said at the beginning of the video, please like, share, and subscribe, and comment as well. You know, it's nice to talk to people. Was that the old BT advert? It's nice to talk. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's it for today on this one. Um, take care, stay safe, nerdy geezer out.